Day two of the search for possible debris from Flight 370 in the southern Indian Ocean and still no sightings of the object's satellite images picked up. Aircraft radar unable to locate anything yesterday due to stormy weather and cloud coverage, but today the forecast a bit brighter with clear patches. We got no radar detections yesterday. Um, we have re-planned the search to be visual. So the aircraft flying relatively low, very highly skilled and trained observers looking out of the aircraft windows and looking to see objects. Five RAF Orion aircraft from Australia, a corporate jet and a U.S. Navy P-8 Poseidon are in flight surveilling a remote area over 1,500 miles southwest from the coast of Perth. Ships from Hong Kong to Germany are joining the Australian Navy, making their way towards the area. China announced it will be moving military ships to the region, including a helicopter-equipped icebreaker. Reading currents is crucial to locating the objects from satellite images now five days old. Authorities stressing there are no guarantees the objects are related to Flight 370. If the object is fully submerged, it's going to move uh, more with the ocean currents. Uh, if there is a, um, an emerged part, so there is part of the object sticking out of the water, then the wind, of course, will also have an influence on how this object moves. 25 aircraft and 19 ships are involved in searching the southern corridor of an area which investigators believe the missing plane could be. But with each passing day, finding clues in the ocean gets more difficult as currents move, taking debris with them in any direction.